Okay, it's another Star Wars build, forgive me, but I'm going to do this one simply because it looks easy and voila, I have the parts. Let's start scratching that build. First off, wash, clean, dry all the plastic that you're going to use. Then ponder life for a good four or five hours and then decide that you're going to start building it when it's way past everybody's bedtime and you've got work next morning. Yep, that's what I did. I started this uh, late one night and uh, finished it all in one sitting. Now, I must apologise if you can hear loud banging and uh, drilling that's next door who's deciding to put in a new kitchen and an extension and it's been going on now for three weeks there's havoc with my days off when i'm trying to do the voiceovers for these videos and all i get is hammering and hammering and even more hammering anyway let's go back to the build so with the engines uh, sorted and uh, just added the lids onto the other side it's onto the cockpit and decided that I was going to use a squeezy spray ball um, took it all apart and used the outside bit that looked just like a cockpit easy peasy now I do have to say this was stuck on with witchcraft and it took forever to take off uh, so if you're going to try this at home be careful kids and boys and girls because uh, that plastic can cut your fingers and once the demon lid had been uh, released it was on to make it look more like a cockpit and not a squeezy bottle lid so what I did was I just stuck some uh, styrene uh, down at the bottom just to enclose it and then using uh, a little bit of thin styrene just made a cockpit and uh, along the edges and then just stuck some on randomly at the side to make it less like a squeezy bottle and then it was glued onto the first I'm gonna call them jet engines once the uh, jet engines were uh, stuck down it was then onto some uh, greebling and I just used the uh, sprue bit from um, some random airfix model that I'd cut up in previous videos just to uh, try and hide uh, some of the bad um, edging that um, I seem to have uh, made anyway let's move on with that one now to make the legs it was just basically um, a little bit of uh, styrene and then use the uh, the plastic sprue bits just as the legs and then a uh, bit of wire and uh, some plastic beads there you go um, it looks better once it's painted but uh, that's how I made the legs I spotted these innards for uh, some wheels I think they were and thought they'd look perfect on the uh, jet engine for the front of the um, engine so I just cleaned them all up and then just stuck them onto the uh, the lids like so then I uh, grabbed a sheet of um, styrene just to make some wings for the uh, the tug uh, spaceship and as you can see yeah my drawing skills need a lot to be desired so I just kind of uh, went freestyle on this one and uh, just cut up little pieces eyeballed it all no measurements and then this bit at the front of this that I'm just sticking down is from a plastic um, model kit for a mini so that's the front end of a mini that's going on this one now for the back of the engines thought it looked a bit boring and just uh, got my hole punch and punched out some uh, cardboard and then just stuck the circles down uh, just to give it a little bit more texture once the engines were done and the wings were stuck on then it was time to add the top two jet engines to the uh, Tug spaceship and um, just using super glue and uh, no photography trickery here 
it actually stuck the first time, which uh, I was quite impressed with. Now, come on, hands up. Who thought that was going to fall down and I was just foreshadowing myself there? Yeah, okay, thanks, uh, Morrigan's Creation. You can put your hand down now. Now, I just went on to just greebling, which was just basically little bits of styrene, just cut down into squares, just to make the engines a little bit more interesting. Um, and just to give it a bit of texture, there's some wire there from an old USB cable that I've just uh, stuck on. And then it'll be time for the... Uh, in the picture, there was some sort of like, I would say there were kind of heat sort of... Um, protectors or something so I'm just going to use some EVA foam because I thought that would be the easiest sort of thing to use uh, and it would be easier to mold around the uh, the jet engine so again just using uh, exact measurements here which is basically eyeballing because that's all I ever do uh, I just quickly roughed out a quick shape of what I thought it kind of looked like and then I could just cut that out and then just like trim it a little bit uh, until I get the desired um, shape. Stuck that down and then stuck some really thin styrene on top of that just to give that a little bit more texture. And now zooming into shot is the finished article. Um, there it is, just needs a good prime now but um, got it pretty close. Apart from the cockpit, could have done, should have changed it and turned the cockpit upside down, which would have been good. Maybe next time when I probably revisit this. Um, but yeah, for the first attempt, not bad. So take it for priming now. Oh, after a little uh, John Woo close up, I guess. Come on, let's get it for prime. There we go. That's all primed, and now I'm just going to start doing the red first because uh, I don't really need to do the grey because the grey primer's uh, done the job for me. And as you can see, I'm just stippling on the uh, red and uh, not too uh, neatly around the edges because I want it to look like it's that chipped effect. And once all that was dry, I was then to go back and uh, just touch up the uh, go faster stripes on the side with a little bit of grey um, because uh, yeah the, uh, the stripe didn't didn't uh, didn't do very well I must admit but you know I always said that uh, not a great painter but uh, everything can be fixed so there's no big worry here I'm just going to use uh, some light grey and then some dark grey on top of that just to uh, straighten up that uh, go faster stripe and then uh, be on to the weathering and then the glamour shots so the weathering because I was lazy and couldn't be bothered with the paints anymore and I was trying out different things took me ages to do but uh, I think it came out all right in the end and uh, next will be the glamour shots so as always thanks for watching if you like what you saw please like and uh, if you've not subscribed already subscribe if you would please we're nearly a thousand subscribers let's keep it going um, so until next time keep scratching that build everybody
you've got the coffee and donuts you wanted. Oh, I see you've already made the video without me. I'll go back into my box then.